Welcome to the Power BI demonstration. I'm David Wickett from Dimensional Strategies, Inc., and I'm here with my associate, Amanda Zakur. So Power BI is a visualization tool used to present live dashboards and reports, and the really intention is to provide a 360-degree view of your business. As data is refreshed within your environment and new reports or dashboards are published into your workspaces, you can receive alerts to understand the status of your data. And this also provides an avenue for, to share and collaborate with colleagues and be able to take action wherever you are and however you're connected. Well, there's a natural language query, Cortan integrations, quick insights, custom visualizations, and the ability to integrate into your app. So one of the things you're able to do with every visualization is to blow it out to full screen and look at it in a little bit more detail. What you're also able to do is to look at wider range of visualizations. So three different areas where those sources are coming from. There's kind of the core base visualization. What Microsoft has done is they've kind of open source code the visualizations. In order to use these custom visualizations, it's really as simple as clicking on it, you download it local, and then you open up the Power BI app and you import it in. The configuration within the visualizations is quite strong. You can identify all the data attributes, your fields, your size, your legends, your axis. So a couple of the cool things are is the color saturation, tool tips, any measure can be added to any visualization to provide additional mouse over information, and obviously coordinates allow us to tie those visualizations as well. From a formatting point of view, there's the general stuff, title, background, board, those kinds of things, but each visualization has a specific set of formatting, whether it's access and reference line, the types of colors, legends, categories, and you can turn things on and off for the most part so you get the visualization to look the way that you want it to look. And so what you end up with within Power BI is a little bit of this hybrid solution. So you can have a live connection to like your analysis services data and your, your databases can be live, or you can import the data into your model and do scheduled refreshes. So what we want to do is look at the publishing and pinning model. So there's really two applications that you'll hear about around Power BI. One is the Power BI desktop and one is app.powerbi.com. But to really get the power of dashboards and some of the other stuff, you really need to use the app.powerbi.com. My general recommendation is if you're just trying Power BI out, you can maybe use your personal gateway, but anytime you got to the point where this is starting to become a corporate solution or an enterprise solution, then an on-premise data gateway should be created. The next area we want to take a look at is now you have a choice of which type of Power BI license do you want to be able to purchase. Power BI, which is free and it's good for limited personal use, or Power BI Pro. The only difference is if you're trying to import some data, the Power BI Pro will give you more capacity than you will with the standard Power BI. If you're starting to get into things like data refreshes and collaboration, this is where the real difference between the two is. You're able to refresh hourly with Pro, but only daily with Power BI. The, if you're streaming data, you can see there's almost a 101 difference between the amount of streaming data that you can pass through on an hourly basis. Consuming live data is only available within Pro. Accessing data gateways is only available within the Pro version. And then if you go take a look at collaboration, which we'll talk a, quite a bit more later on, you can see collaboration is really only available within Power BI Pro. The idea of team collaboration is partially first integrated within the overall Office 365 experience. Be able to share your dashboards and repeats with other team members, et cetera. Take a look quickly in terms of how you collaborate differently with these different profiles. So if you share a dashboard, they can view and interact with it. They can't edit the original. They can't create their own copy. And they can just pass it on to additional colleagues. But if you created that same dashboard within a group and shared that group, then they can view and interact with it. If you've given them rights, they have the ability to add the original. They can always create their own version and they can share it with others. So this is by far gives you the most collaborative experience here. Power BI is really in a rapid deployment model. They're literally deploying to the web about once every two weeks. The desktop itself is updated on a monthly basis. So it does require a new download about every two minutes. And this link here will show you all the latest updates that have occurred. If you're looking for more information or more demos around Power BI, if you're looking to see what's new on SQL 2016, I highly recommend you look at some of the sessions in the Data Insights Summit. If anybody wants to reach out to Amanda and myself, we do have a couple Power BI offerings. So we have a one-day Power BI challenge where we let you go into your company for a day. We'll model some data in the morning, we'll build some reports and dashboards in the afternoon. So within a one day experience, we can show you how your data can be consumed and visualized. And we also do Power BI training, so one day training, interactive with labs, et cetera. 
or more comprehensively, we have what we call a Power BI Quick Start. So this includes configuration of your network, configuration of the gateway, technical training to your technical team, Power BI training to users, and usually, this is typically a five-day engagement. That usually leaves a couple days to actually work with your analysts to start building out the first set of dashboards and reports. Uh, thank you everybody for their time today. Hopefully you'll reach out to us and we can start helping you realize the Power BI capabilities. Thank you.